Hey crafters! So before we get into today's project where I show you how I take a simple Hobby Lobby item that was on sale and turn it into a new set of necklace and earrings, I'm going to first show you something that I'm very excited about. Okay, so only like half the year has gone by. I don't know how 2018 is already halfway over, like it's crazy, almost time for Christmas. But I have a couple of exciting things to show you today. First of all, I finally figured out how to hook up my Canon EOS Rebel T7i with the wireless function to my MacBook Pro. So that I'm like looking down low and seeing me on there so I know exactly what my camera girl Rebecca from Beck Pie Slice of Life is seeing. So what I want to show you today is this room, and you might be saying it's just a room, what's so exciting about a room? Well, the sign here says, do not enter when light is on, filming in progress. Well, the light here isn't on yet, so there's not any filming going on in there. But basically, that is the room that I've been saying for forever that we're going to transform into our filming room. So we finally started working on that. It's not finished, so there's still like piles of stuff that you'll see a little glimpse of when we go in there in a minute. But I am super excited to show you that, and that's why we'll be filming today's project. So I guess we better turn on the light. Alright, so here we go. This is the room right now. I'm filming wirelessly so I can actually like hold the camera and see myself and then like look at my computer screen and be like, oh, that's where I'm at. So super cool. I'm so glad I finally figured this out. And then second of all, I'm going to show you the room here. So here you can see there's the chair I was dramatically sitting in when we first came in. This is the wall I will be doing most of my shooting against. Then there's also this cute little section I have set up in the corner here, partly because I needed somewhere to put these items and also because there's like this paint spot on the wall, long story. So we'll have to get that painted obviously. So anyways, that's a cute little corner there. Then as I mentioned, there is my computer. We'll have like, an infinite number of computer cameras. That's so much fun. Anyways, there's my laptop, filming it. We've got the bed in the corner. Yeah, there's me in the mirror. But one of the cool things about having a permanent spot is I'm able to leave the umbrella lighting up, which is going to save me so much time. Now ignore the mess behind there because that's got to be cleaned up just a little bit. But I've moved my drawers of crafting supplies in here. Super excited, very convenient. I've gotta get a spot for the clay so it's not right by the heat of the window. Over here, we've got another bookshelf. This is why we have so many books still on the counter because we don't have any more bookshelf space. And nice little trash can and of course a box of tissues cause your girl needs tissues. So this is the room. All right, so I'm loving being in this new room. I actually shot another video before I shot this, so this is technically like my second time filming in here, but we're gonna stick the like big grand intro in the front of this video anyways. So as I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video before talking about the room and everything, was recently I went to Hobby Lobby and bought a necklace. So, it's my Hobby Lobby bag. Here's what I got while there. First of all, always grab the free crafting booklets. I love these things so much. I come home with like 20 of them every time. Okay, maybe not literally 20, but they do have a lot of great ideas. So always grab those free pamphlets when you go to crafting stores. Second thing in my bag was a receipt. Very exciting, I know. But now for the cool part. This necklace, what's kind of cool about this necklace is a little bit different is that it's got these fake pearls on it. But they're not quite white pearls, they're kind of silvery tone, so that's kind of cool. But it's normally $6.99, however it was reduced down to a buck seventy-four. Once I paid tax, it came out to a buck eighty-four. So I got this necklace that's normally seven bucks for less than two bucks. Pretty cool. However, I'm actually not a fan of this necklace for a couple of reasons. First of all, you know, a pearl necklace is a pretty standard jewelry item and I've been meaning to get one for a long time, never have. But you'll notice that the pearls aren't exactly against each other because they decided to get creative or fancy, I don't know, and tie knots in between every single pearl. So I'm not a fan of that look. Second of all, it doesn't have a clasp and it's not just uniform and going around and solid where you just go over your neck. It's got this dumb like, 
drawstring clothes here. So if they have the long tassels here with some extra beads, and then there's a little tassel on in a plastic tube. But basically you can like slide it through here. So I don't know if the thinking is so you can size it, but then if you want to have it like short, you know, like I just want like in front of this, you end up with these dumb tassels in the back. I'm just not a fan of that look. Plus I'm not a fan of the little sliding spot. But it was only a buck 74 and I wanted a pearl necklace for a while, so I thought, I know, I'll buy it and then I will repurpose these materials. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to turn this necklace into a necklace and earring set. So let's look at what I've got here. All right, so I went ahead and counted and I have 75 beads on here, which I think is really funny because there was a pack of 50 beads that was like twice the sale price of this. So I'm pretty happy, needless to say. So let's get this off of here. So the basic idea of what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take these tassels off and turn them into earrings. So I'm going to start with this part of the process. All right, so I couldn't actually untie the knot, but I was able to cut it, so now I have the string running through here. Now I'm gonna wait to pull the string out until I get my O-ring, jump ring, whatever you wanna call it, running through there. Bend this open. Simple twisting motion. I twist this one pretty far open. I'm gonna try to feed it through this here. I'm debating if I need to take any of this plastic part off yet. I think I'm gonna cut a little bit off. All right, let's try this again now that the plastic's a little bit out of the way. Okay, so the obvious problem I'm having is figuring out how to thread this through. I think I'm gonna pull the string out and then try going through there, and hopefully I won't regret that. Hey, look at that. We gotta come back out to the other side. All right, I'm pulling out a couple of the tassels that I like way messed up here. We'll trim this in the end here. But now I'm just gonna close up my ring and put it on an earring hook. All right, I had to bend this ring so much that it's not gonna look very pretty once I put it back together, but that's okay, because it's not under any obligations to look pretty. It just has to work. Okay, so I've got a couple that are coming out still, so I'm just gonna pull them out. I'm gonna trim the bottom here. And now it's time to open this guy and get the tassel on the earring hook. All right, so I'm just gonna pop this open a little bit like that. I like to just grab the one end and pull it open. So I hold it like this, grab here, and literally just pull backwards to open it. It's gonna go right on here. Now it's time to pinch it closed. And now I have a super pretty first tassel earring. So I'm gonna do the same to get the second one and then the first half of this project will be done and then we'll just have to unstring and then restring the necklace beads. All right, now I've got two cute tassel earrings. I'm gonna put these in and then I'm gonna start unstringing the necklace. All right, here we go. So after looking at this, I figured out the main thing I don't like about these knots on this necklace is it just doesn't hang the way that I want a pearl necklace to. It kind of hangs kind of lumpy and not a nice smooth arc. So that's why I want to get rid of these knots. But I was actually thinking about this. I was like, oh, what should I restring it on? I could use this, I could use that. And then I was like, wait, I can just use the same silver gray colored cord. So I'm going to start unstringing all 75 of these beads, which includes untying like basically 75 knots also. Just kidding, after further examination, it's gonna be stupid and absolutely insane to untie all these knots. So I'm gonna have to cut it. I'm gonna have to find something else to string this on, but that's gonna save my little fingers and my poor nails a lot of breaking and tedious work. Here we go. Here are hopefully 75 beads. If there's not 75 beads, then too bad because I'm not recounting all of them. So, I've got a couple ideas here. 
Embroidery floss. I think that's what I'm gonna use. We're gonna, I'm gonna look at this for a minute and then we'll see if we can get this to work. Here we go, I've got some white thread here, some white embroidery floss. String my needle. Here we go, got it pulled through and now our embroidery floss is threaded. So I'm still not totally sure whether I'm just gonna tie it together or if I'm going to use the clasp. I'm gonna see how long it ends up. So I'm just gonna start by threading all my beads on here and we'll go from there. All right, so I finished stringing these on, but what I've got to decide now is how I'm going to fasten it off. So basically the deal is, if I make it all the way tight, that's how low it comes on me. So not super long, it's a little bit awkward of a length. Part of it's because of the tank top type I have on. But the other thing is, I can't fit this over my head. So I could wear like a goofy crown, something on the duck down. So I think I want to do something to add a little bit more length. So I'd rather it come, you know, maybe more like that. There's something in there. Cause I feel like that's a little too snug. Just a little bit longer might be nice. Which would mean I would need about, but with the four more fingers, which is like two to three inches. So I got a couple of options that I'm thinking through. The one option is that I just attach the clasp. It'll give it a little extra length and I can always leave a little bit of slack on the ends. Another option is if I crochet something. So, let me look at what other materials I've got and I'll see what I'll end up doing. All right, so I found a couple more items. Found this little guy. I'm going to use this as the clasp instead of hassling with undoing this. And to give it a little extra length, I'm going to get out my crochet hook. This is a size five right here. And I'm going to crochet a little bit. I'll probably just do a chain. I'm gonna look and see at this end here. What I want to do. So I'm going to cut off a nice long tail. Also, if you hear like loud muffled noises in the background, that's probably my family watching, I think, Power Rangers. So I'm, I'm sure I'm really missing out. <laughs> right, so I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail here. Make a slip knot. I can snitch this up. Slide my beads down. Also, what's nice is it's just thick enough that my beads won't really slide down. I'm just going to slide all my stuff down that away. String this end on here, and I'm just gonna tie it a couple times and then run the tail in through my chain and then hide it in there. All right, our first side is attached, so now I've just got to attach the other side. And I'm gonna do a little crochet thing again like I did. So now that I've crocheted my little tail piece there, I want to attach this to the other side. And now it's just a matter of putting it on and showing you the finished results. All right, so the earrings are already in and I'm super happy with them. You could always, if you make something like this, I could always trim these if I wanted to, but I think I'm gonna leave them here because I'm gonna go shorter again with my hair. So I feel like if I trim them shorter, then it's gonna just, you know, get too weird. So I'm just gonna leave them as is. I like the fun, long length. Put the necklace on. Actually, it will fit over my head now. And I'm very happy with this length, I think that the little crochet details make this part look cute and look like it's you know supposed to be like that and it helped me by giving me a little bit more length to get it the length I wanted it. But there we go, for a buck 84, I have a new earring and necklace combo that I can wear. I hope all you crafters enjoyed this video. Make sure if you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video. Comment below to let me know if you think that the finished look with having the new necklace style and turning the tassels into earrings. Tell me if you think that's an improvement over the original product or whether I should have just left it alone. I'm personally very happy with how it turned out, but honestly, you know, you can't beat a necklace and earring set for under two bucks, right? So let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this project. Also, make sure if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I'm over 750 subscribers. Thank you so much to all my crafters who have subscribed so far. That means I am 75% of the way to getting back into the YouTube Partner Program, and I'm really excited, really pushing towards that, trying to get there. So if you haven't already and you want to share me with your friends, tell people about my channel, tell them about this video, and hopefully I can pick up a few more subscribers that way. But your subscription to my channel means the world to me. It really helps me out and really encourages me to keep going and keep making these videos. So thank you so much for the 
those of you who already have subscribed and those of you who are first time viewers, make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notifications for when I post new content. I think I'm gonna try to wear this necklace with an outfit tomorrow, but that's what I've got for today. So happy crafting. So She's making me stand behind her this time, but then she didn't tell me to move this dog and stuff. You better not put this in the video though. <laughs> Okay, now...